Hi, this is Chase again, and today I want to show you how to pair a Refresher Braille 18 with the iPod Touch or iPhone running iOS 4. As you might know, the Refresher Braille 18 can only connect with the iPod Touch or iPhone via Bluetooth as they do not have a USB port. And I have an iPod Touch here, which is already on, so what, what we need to do next is to turn the Refresher Braille on. I will hold down the power button. and you heard the cells vibrate and now we see my display's name. Now by default Bluetooth is automatically turned on so we don't need to do anything to enable Bluetooth. What we need to do to get Braille working on the iPod Touch is to go to settings. So I'll tap my touch screen near settings. Page one of three. iTunes. Settings. I did that by flicking left. I'll double tap here. Settings. Settings. Music. Button. And now my cursor was placed on the music item in settings, but I'll flick left. General. Button. And that's general, which is where we need to go. I double tapped. General. Settings. Back button. And now we need to go to accessibility, which is where you can set all the iPod and iPhone's accessibility features. General. Restrictions. Oh, date and time. Keyboard. International. Accessibility. Reset. Accessibility. Button. Now what I did to get to accessibility was I touched near the bottom of the screen and then flicked right till I got to accessibility. Now I'll double tap. Accessibility. General. Back button. Accessibility. VoiceOver. On. Button. Now we need to go into VoiceOver. VoiceOver, if you do not know, is the built-in screen reader on these devices and that is what the Refresher Braille 18 will connect with. Zoom. Off. But we also button. have things like the monaural audio and the magnifier called zoom. Voiceover on. But we button. go into voiceover by double tapping. Voiceover accessibility back button. And now we'll need to flick right till we get to Braille. Voiceover 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 speak side to select to activate the selected item. Double tap to scroll. Flick three fingers. Practice voiceover gestures button. Speak hints off. Speaking rate. Speaking rate. 22%. A typing feedback. Words. Use phonetics. On. Use pitch change. Off. Braille. Button. And there's the Braille button. We'll double tap. Alert. Bluetooth is turned off. Bluetooth is required to use a Braille device. Would you like to turn on Bluetooth? Bluetooth is turned off. And now we need to turn on Bluetooth. You don't need to enable Bluetooth before you get into the Braille settings as, as you heard, it informs me that Bluetooth is turned off. Bluetooth is required to cancel. Okay. I'll double button. tap OK, which will open the Braille settings and turn on Bluetooth. Braille. Voice over. Back button. And now we'll have some Braille settings as well as the displays that are in range of the iPod. Braille. Contracted Braille. On. That is to show grade 2 Braille. I have turned that on. Status cell. Off. Status button. cell is off. Choose a Braille device. Refresh a Braille chase. Not paired. Button. Now, the iPod searched for my Refresher Braille, which is called Refresher Braille Chase, as I've named my display Chase, and it has already found it. What we need to do to pair it is to double tap. Refresher Braille Chase. No. Refresher Braille. Refresher Braille Chase. Pin. Secure. Two. One. Two. Three. Four. Pin. One. Done. Button. Done. Dimmed. Braille. Voice over. My back display button. just went blank, and now we see voice over, back, and then if I pan to the right, BTN, which stands for button. Now, I want to explain what I did when I asked for the pairing code. You only have a certain amount of seconds to pair this and put in that code, so I did that before I discussed it so I'd have enough time. The pin code, or personal identification, this code allows you to securely to securely connect to your Refresher Braille 18. By default, the Refresher Braille 18's pin code is 1234, so I tap, I type that in and then press the Done button. So now we have Braille. Now what I want to do is to go to the Practice VoiceOver Gestures, which is in the VoiceOver settings. So I'll flick to the left voice until I get to the VoiceOver Back button. VoiceOver. And now we're back in the VoiceOver back settings button. screen. VoiceOver. VoiceOver. On. VoiceOver speaks items on the screen. Right. To select an item, touch it. Now on the Braille display, I can use the joystick to flick right by pushing it to the right. 
To activate the selected item, double tap. To scroll, flick three fingers. Practice voiceover gestures. Button. Now this is what I want. I can either double tap on the touch screen or press down on the joystick. I press down on the joystick. Practice gestures. And I'll touch on the screen. Practice voiceover gestures in this area. Select the done button in the top right corner and double tap to exit. Now we can do gestures on the screen like rotate clockwise. Select next rotor setting. Or on the display we can press any of the display keys like joystick press activates the selected item or I'm panning to the right and it's showing what it just said but if I get to the end pan braille to the right that that's the pan braille to the right we can also use corded commands that is letters and symbols with the space bar and it'll tell us what they do so H chord for example dot one dot two dot five space bar activates the home button Practice voiceover gestures in this area. Or select the done button in the top right corner and double tap to exit. Or if I press E chord. Dot one. Dot five. Space bar. Activates the return key. Activates the return key. Now I'll go ahead and get out of this. Done. But twenty percent battery. Practice voiceover gestures now I in put, this area. I touch too select high. the done button in the top right corner and double tap to exit. I tapped too high on the screen, so I got into the status bar. So twenty percent. Practice voiceover done button. There's a done button. I'll double tap. And we're back voiceover. in settings. Accessibility. Back button. Now I'll press H chord to get to the home screen, or I could press the home button on the iPod. Home. And settings. we see home settings on the Braille display. Now what I want to show you is we can go to an application, for example, notes that allows you to input text and use the refresher Braille 18's Braille keyboard to type. Calculator. Clock. Notes. There's notes. I use the joystick left function to get to that. I'll press down on the joystick to open notes. Notes. New note. Text field is editing. And we're automatically, mode. we're automatically placed into the new note field. So if I type this as a test in grade 2 Braille. This is a This is a test. And it didn't speak the last word because I put a period and then a space. I kind of interrupted it. But I have this is a test in grade 2 Braille. But if you typed in, in an email, for example, in grade 2 Braille and you sent it, that email would be translated into regular text. So you can type in any text fields on the iPod using the Refresher Braille 18's keypad. I'll now return to the home screen with H chord. Home. Notes. That is all that I want to show you. I'll be back in a future video talking more about connecting the Refresher Braille 18 with other devices.